If you've never built the code plug for an RT4D, it's the same as a TYT MD380, any Tone 868, 878, any DMR radio. They're all the same. But in order to do this, I hope that you have some knowledge with your CPS software for your said radio. This will apply to different radios other than the Radtel RT4D. Anyways, I hope this uh, information in this video is helpful. Okay, we're going to create a code plug today for my Rantel RT4D DMR analog radio. So we're going to go into contacts, and unfortunately in contact one you can't change or delete. I don't know whose call ID number 16777215 is, but it's fixed in there. So anyways, we're going to go in, and let's go to number two. We're going to select group call. There's a little check down box. If you click on the box, we're going to put in simplex, and simplex for DMR is channel or caller ID 99. It should be talk group ID, but they call it call ID. So we're going to create this for a PICO repeater system out my back door about six miles. So number three is going to be group call local. And I'm going to label this New England Digital Emergency Communication Network. And they use nine, talk group nine, as a local. And you go down through here, and you can see where I've gone down and added all the way in the sky. Worn at the bottom of the page, number 21. Talk group number 759. However, <laughs> Radtel uses call ID. So you're going to repeat this for as many talk groups as you want or those that you need. So next we're going to go into the zone tab. So if you see where I selected option or number two, I added in Pico. So I've already done this. I'm just going back to show you. But then I would scroll up and down my unchecked channel numbers to my pico and then i would add those in you can see it kind of muted out to the uh, right middle of the screen add and i add in all the pico talk groups that i created and every time you make a change or you do something always hit that save button save the file before you proceed uh, that way you don't mess up but uh, so you're going to create a zone you're going to scroll through the selected channels Select which one, hit the little add button. It's going to populate them in the third little window over there. It says number, check channels, and save. And then we will proceed. Some people don't create receive zones. That's fine. I like to. I prefer to. So in this case, you're going to see I have selected, highlighted. Number one, I'm calling this Pico. And then it says edit group list, available members. <laughs> That's available talk groups. I don't know why they call it members, but this Chinese radio is a bass backwards. So we're going to add local, N-E-N-D-C and whatever it is, uh, worldwide, North America, worldwide English, region north, user assigned 113, 123, New England wide, northeast, New Hampshire, Vermont, Maine, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Capeless, Kuznet. And it's kind of blanked out here on the screen, but you're just going to add those and move over to ones you want. Hit save, and you can create a receive list. And that's basically what we need to do. And now we'll go create channels. Now we are going to work on our channels. Channels is going to be repetitious. It's going to be boring. It's going to get a little confusing. So what I like to do is I like to figure out the frequency, transmit and receive, so if my repeater is on 444-500, where I'm going to listen to it, the transmit frequency where we're going to get into it, this is different than our T-System software. So we're going to transmit on 449-500. And then I just click that once, and I copy and paste all the way down, however many talk groups I need for the channels. And the type is digital, since we're on DMR. I leave the transmit power high. Scan, I add it, and then I give it a name, Pico Loco. So then we go down to the bottom under where you're going to see Digital Channel 801 at the bottom of the screen. Receive group list. We're going to call it Pico, and I went into there and received, uh, created a receive group list. Then I'm going to go down to my contacts, contact number, and I'm going to choose local, N-E-D-E-C-N, New England Digital Emergency Communication Network. This case for DMR mode, you want dual slots off. You don't want to transmit on two time slots. 
And according to the Pico repeater, local is on time slot two. So you're going to have a choice of one or two. Pico uses color code one. Transmit priority, we're going to allow it. And the repeater has a 180 second or three minute timeout timer. So I've chosen 180 seconds. And then we're going to save. And then you would go on to your next line for however many talk groups on that repeater or your hotspot that you want to use on that any given system. And here's a great site where you can download the contacts, or in this case, the Chinese radio rad tail calls it your address book. I hope you found this video very informative and helpful. Please like, share, subscribe. If you need to reach out to me, I'm good on QRZ, and I'll help you work through any problems you're having. 7-3, folks.